Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is going to be a response to the Equestria Girls. <laughs> oh dear! Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry if I'm looking like weirdly all over the place. This is the first time I've used my webcam, so I have to get used to looking at that spot on. The <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. So at first, when I first saw this this morning, I was like, no, it's true. I thought there was just some stupid rumor, but. No, it's true. Dang it. <laughs> but now in the course of uh, um, of grabbing some screenshots and everything. Sorry, I don't have the video. I, I didn't, um, whatever. <laughs> it's like, it's only a minute long, so, um, you know, go, go watch it. It's not bad. I mean, uh, this, in short, this has the possibility to be either really good or really bad. <laughs> what a shocker. I mean, um... I mean, there's actually some pretty interesting things about this, but obviously if you watch it through closely, I must admit I haven't looked at it thoroughly, thoroughly as some people have. I've, I I, lo I looked at it briefly on a question daily that they've obviously done something. Uh, people have been like, did you see that? Or did you see that? But I know what, but I, I noticed a few things that I saw now that I've seen it in a uh, full screen is that first of all, the elements of, uh, um, the elements of harmony are here, or at least, um, more precisely, um, Twilight's um, uh, tiara thing is in this. I mean, I'm going to look at this as being an alternate universe because. Um, but, but I'm going to stay on topic first. So I'm going to answer this first. <laughs> Actually, you know, what I think about this first. Let's, let's start. What exactly is happening in the in the the opening minutes of this? Um, we first of all we see that tw this is clearly after um, season three because. Um, if you look in several shots, you'll see that Twilight actually has her wings. So she is, in fact, an alicorn. So this happened at, at the end of season three. Reason one why I'm scared for Twilight in the show. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so we see that she walks through a mirror. Ooh, cliche, cliche there. If you uh, know about Alice in Wonderland, that supposedly Alice gets to, uh, I believe, in at least some versions of... Um, Alice in Wonderland, she gets through Wonderland by walking through a looking glass, a.k.a. a mirror. So, hmm. It's like, I think that she's walking through this mirror into what could be described as a parallel universe, because it's clear that Twilight is the only one who's walking through this mirror. The other main six do not. Or if they do, we don't see them. We don't see them. Uh, as, we see, as we see later, that we see Pinkie Pie? <laughs> so obviously, either a Pinkie Pie's in this parallel universe. I mean, uh, no, it's no, it's a parallel universe. I, it's pretty obvious that that's exactly what this was meant to be, because all the characters are. The, I, mean, is, I mean, you could go through and see just about any of the the major background characters, uh, with the exception of print the princesses. I didn't see any indication that they were the princesses were in this. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting off topic as I always do because there's so much to dissect in this one, uh, one, this like one, one minute, ten second video. Um, so yeah, so that's what I think. But the interesting question is, why is Twilight doing this? I think, um, I think I know what the plot, of, the main plot of the story is, and that for some reason the elements of harmony, or more precisely. Uh, Twilight's tiara has somehow been pulled into this parallel universe, and Twilight has to go and retrieve it. And of course, being a tiara, this big gold tiara thing, it somehow gets picked up by this high school or something, and gets made to be like the big prize of the, uh, the whatever the princess competition or whatever that they're having. And Twilight has to to get it back, has to win this competition, and somehow needs to befriend her the parallel versions of the main six in order to do so and this is reason number two this is scary because if you see in this shot in this shot on the screen no, no, excuse me, this screenshot <laughs> sorry i'm getting to this on this screenshot um not only does i mean in this shot we see that twilight uh, gets the element of army but in this shot we see that the person who's being zapped by like this big beam thing that's most likely taking her back to Equestria is not Twilight. It's this evil nemesis person who we know nothing about. <laughs> and not only that, and if you don't believe me, watch this shot. Look, Twilight doesn't have the elements of harmony. Somebody else does. Ugh. <laughs> does this mean Twilight will be trapped forever in this parallel dimension? Probably not. <laughs>
that <laughs> obviously we don't know maybe this is a cunning trap maybe maybe this is some sort of cunning plan or something but there's obviously a lot going on here and yeah i must admit this does worry me i mean poor twilight she <laughs> i mean the good news is she didn't get transported to the real world she's gotten transported to basically an alternate cartoon universe so things are probably still going to be relatively okay but um yeah i mean i don't i I must admit, I'm actually a little bit more excited about this because at first I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> it's like, no, this is exactly what I did not want to happen. Don't break the show. There's too many things in our world that are getting broken because people are willing to change them and alter them and stuff. Things are fine the way they are. Don't change things. The good news is, is this is just a movie. It's technically not canon. Uh, or at least that's what I've heard, anyway. So, it's... Don't get too upset, kitties, but... Uh, I'm actually, in a way, a little bit more encouraged when I listen to the song that's playing in the background. It's actually pretty good, and it's much more mature and much more adult. This is something that an adult might actually listen to. Well, almost. <laughs> Compared to Giggle at the Ghosties. <laughs> but, so, maybe there's hope. I mean, I must admit, I'm a little bit more hopeful. Would I pay to go see this movie? Um, not without any idea of how good it is, because it could crash and burn for all we know. And frankly, it may crash and burn, but, you know, I have faith in this writing team, but at the same time, hmm, I don't know how fun it's going to be to watch a Twilight who can't do magic, or a Rainbow Dash who can't fly, or a Pinkie Pie who can't break the laws of physics. <laughs> It's like, they're just going to be human teenagers with mutant-looking teenagers because uh, they have these weird colors and stuff in their hair. I mean, it's not just their hair. Their skin color is weird. Like, Rainbow Dash looks weird. Rarity looks like she's going to, like, drop dead because she's white. You know, she's like, if you were that white, you would definitely be taking some that person to the hospital. But, of course, obviously, this is an alternate parallel universe, so obviously people have those kind of colors anyway, but it's still kind of freaky and weird. Um, but, yeah, I mean... It, there may be hope, so I must have been able to... <laughs> but it's definitely one of these things we have to wait and see. But after watching My Little Pony, it's obviously a good idea to be remain open-minded and all that stuff. So, I mean, my predictions are that it'll probably be okay, but it definitely won't beat the show. I mean, really, how interesting would it be to do to see a Twilight who can't do magic? It'd be like it'd be like taking Luke Skywalker, taking away all his Force powers and all that stuff, and throwing him into high school. How exciting or interesting would that story be? It wouldn't be. I mean, you could make it work, but no one would care. Let's face it, high school is way overrated in 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 um, movies and TV. It's like. I have to admit, personally, I probably should have been a little bit more interested socially in um, high school and stuff. But honestly. Yeah, it's just another level of high school, another level of schooling. Get over it already. It's not this big. I mean, it, I mean, it is and it isn't. I mean, yes, it's an important part of of people's lives, and you learn a lot, you meet friends, and all that stuff. But at the same time, it's just another school. Get over it. <laughs> and but it's going to be interesting, you know. I mean, Twilight's an interesting situation here. Is that it seems to be that she's the only one there. So, the main six, quote-unquote, the main six, I guess we have to change the spelling now. <laughs> um, the main six are, are, are basically don't know Twilight, so she has to go and relearn and, and you know, be fr and re befriend all of these these people again, and that might be interesting in itself, but uh, I'm a little bit more optimistic than I was, but, mm, I mean, there's still the possibility this could be definitely crash and burn. And again, I'm honestly quite scared for Twilight, because I have a, I've always believed that if humans went to Equestria, they would have nothing to teach Equestria, but they would have everything to learn. In fact, they would contaminate Equestria in a very, like, a Star Trek way. It's like, the prime, the, the reason the Prime Directive exists is because we know that when we go to a planet, we're going to mess up its culture no matter what we do. The best thing to do is just stay away and stuff like that. And that's exactly how I feel. Humans should not go to Equestria. Fan fiction is okay, but, you know, uh, when it comes to canon, no, 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 no. Stay, no, humans should just stay away. <laughs> humans should just stay away. Humans should just stay out of it. So, um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot in this trailer, but I have to agree with Brian Curious that, you know, we don't really know that much about the plot, unless I'm right. <laughs> I honestly think I am. I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. Why would Twilight do this by herself? Why would Twilight travel to another world all by herself? Why her? Why not Celestia? Again, in this case, it might be appropriate for Celestia to do this, because, well, she's 
more adults. He's bigger. He's stronger. I mean, uh, unbeknownst to them, I believe. I mean, maybe they know that when they uh, go there, they don't. They lose all their powers and everything. Who knows? Maybe this is exactly why Celestia can't go because if Celestia went, she be an adult, I guess, and she couldn't exactly go to a high school. <laughs> I must admit, there's a slight thing that I have with this. This is, I mean, I know it's theft is a bad thing in Equestria and stuff like that, but really, if the, if the main plot of this is to go and retrieve the element of harmony, um, why can't they just go and steal it? Just take it. <laughs> This is the this is the one of the most important things that drives our world. It be <laughs> you know, I think it's okay to break into the high school and take it. You know, I think they'll live. They'll find something else to give the the, the big they'll find something else to award the the, the princess <laughs> at the end of their thing. It's like, yeah, I mean, but can't, can't do that. It's a little kid show. And that itself is going to change. It's clearly not a little kid show anymore. It's more for teenagers. I mean, Little kids could watch it, but... I mean, obviously, there's a lot of questions here. And I must admit, I haven't really looked at all of them. I mean, that was really the things I took of that. That the elements of Harmony are here, and Twilight doesn't get the element of Harmony. Or she does, but whoever this villain is... I mean, I, my almost subconscious thought this was Trixie for some reason. But I know it can't be, because if we're playing off of color schemes... This is clearly not Trixie. She's, you know, it's just all wrong. You know, just wrong. But at the same time... Who would want to backstab, you know, who, who would want to hurt Twilight Trixie, of course? I mean, I'm not saying this is actual Trixie somehow got here, but but she sounds very, you know, backstabby kind of. <laughs> she sounds like, Argh! she definitely sounds like she was like, who is this Twilight Sparkle? Mm. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who this person is. I mean, I know that I've heard of rumors of who this person might be, but honestly, I don't really know. I mean, whoever this person is is she gets the elements of harmony and she's in the middle of this big beam thing <laughs> dang it sorry i did it again she's in the middle of this big beam thing so does this mean that she's going back to questry and that twilight's stuck there forever could this be the end of the show I can probably not because we know that this is a side thing for Hasbro. Maybe they're gonna. This is an experiment for them. I think that they're gonna do this movie, see how well it does, and if it crashes and burns, they're gonna let this die. But if it sells, they'll they'll make a separate series like this somehow. Maybe I don't know how they'll do that because, but you know what? Again, <laughs> he's running a little long again. You know, but so I was a bit at first I was bummed, but now I'm not. So. I mean, what do I think? I mean, is it going to do good? It probably, it'll probably be okay. If it's written, if it's produced and made by the very same people who make My Little Pony, I have faith in this writing team. As long as you hand them a decent story and a decent thing for them to work with, they'll make it work. I think they'll make it work. Because they've proven that so far. I, I, I have faith. I trust this writing team. If I could hire a writing team, I would definitely hire them. <laughs> Without a doubt. Because they can, they'll make it work. They'll make it work. They'll find a way. But... We'll see. So I guess that's the end of my improv, <laughs> imp improvised video response thing. Well, like, it's not really a video response because I'm not responding to anything. I'm just really, I got, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm going to stop now because I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, I tell you. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, it's been, it's been, it's been a just been a weird day. Oh, dear. So anyway, this is Blue Star. Stay strong and pony on. Blue Star out.